Hey, here we go again. We just keep going like the Energizer Bunny. Go, go, go. It keeps going and going and going. I'm assuming you guys know that commercial. Hey, Matthew, you alien guy. Yes, alien. <laughs> hey, let's go ahead and get started, my friends. Okay, here we are. We are talking about topic B, uh, making like units pictorial. Pictorially, this is the last uh, lesson on this topic. Uh, we will be having a part A and part B. This is part A. So let's go ahead and get started here. First things first, we want to take a look at this problem. It says here that Cassandra, hey, we did one sixth of the garden. And Tatiana, we did some too. Hmm, nice that you could help. When they were finished, three quarters of the garden still needed to be weeded. That's probably because they were talking, you know, how it is, you know, Tatiana, Cassandra, you know. Anyway, <laughs> what fraction of the garden did Tatiana weed? Okay, since we already know the amount that uh, Cassandra actually weeded, it tells us right there, one-sixth. So the question wouldn't be how much she weeded because we know that. Okay, it's what we're looking at here. And again, makes me think of the old R, and this is not a code word. Please don't be confused. Remember, this is for read, draw, and, and write, and we're going to address that. But let's go ahead and start off by doing, what am I looking for here? Oh, not that, that's for sure. Okay, because I need to go ahead and I'm gonna show the amount that Cassandra weeded, okay, which she basically did, uh, it looks like sixths. So I should be able to come down and put that right in there, like, such, like, like so, and we'll move it this way a little bit. Nice, and then of course, um, the three quarters of the garden is how much wasn't wasn't weeded, okay? It had been completed, or or we'll say it's just the amount that was left over. So what I'm gonna do here is, eh, it works for me, okay? Make it a little bit smaller. There we go, and just do two of them, okay? So this this shaded amount here obviously indicates the amount that that uh, still needed to be weeded. This here one six shows shows the amount that Cassandra had actually weeded herself, and Tatiana, well, is an amount we don't know fraction. So again, we can't work with these units because the denominator uh, they're not like denominators. Therefore, we need to make that happen. And probably the easiest way is to simply turn that into twenty fourths by putting that into quarters and then six, now we have the opportunity to see. Make a copy of that, okay? And so I just wanna make another copy of this so I could take this. Now this is three quarters. Probably the, I guess the easiest way here is to kind of think of it this way. We're adding two amounts. We need to add the one sixth of the garden that Cassandra did. And then we're gonna go ahead and add the three quarters that never got finished because what's left would be Tatiana. Does that make sense? Because she didn't do this part, nor did Cassandra, but Cassandra did this part. So we have our one-sixth, and now we need our three-quarters. Well, if you look at this, this is four out of 24, okay? And so we could actually rename these, which would be the easiest way to do this. So we're gonna go ahead and name this as four over, and then we have that one, two, three, four, five, six. This is just one way you can figure out one, two, three, four, we made 24. And then over here we have our three quarters. However, we could also take the same amount here and let's do that and show that that's in 24. So if we have six times four is 24, then six, six, six here would be six times three, which is 18. I'm gonna go ahead and get 18. So now we have 18 24. That's how much hadn't been completed. Now when we add these together, this is Cassandra, and then this is the amount that did not get weeded. If we add those together, we end up with 22 over 24. Now the whole garden would be one whole, therefore a whole garden would be 24 over 24, and the amount that we know that Cassandra and the part that hadn't been weeded was 22 over 24, or a simple subtraction, and we can figure out how much Tatiana did. And if she works very hard, we'll find that out too. So 24 minus 22 is two over 24. Therefore, to put it in simplest terms, we can look for a common factor that the numerator and the denominator have. And those two factors, remember, when they're multiplied together, they'll give you this number. Well, two times one is two. 
So we could divide out a two. Here we have 12 times two is 24, so we could also divide out a two. We say that they have a common factor. We end up with one over 12. The amount that Tatiana actually did was 1 12th. Hmm, doesn't seem like much, does it? But I've, however, that's two out of 24. So out of the whole garden, you could kind of think, okay, Tatiana did this much in the garden. Okay, that's how much of the garden got left with all the weeds. And then this is the amount that Cassandra did. And we did that by showing an area model. Now, we should be able to add those all together and of course get our 24 out of 24, the whole garden, 1 12, which we'll just say is two 24s plus the 18 24s, which was left on, you know, unweeded. And then of course, Cassandra and her amount. And that's how we do that. And that's how we do this. Okay, now let's go ahead and look at this problem though in another way. Because some of you have probably gotten pretty good at seeing how these um, common denominators have helped us in solving problems. So there might be another, ba another way you might want to show this. For example, you could, and I'm just going to show, show this whole thing as your garden, right? We'll show this is the garden. If you notice the same problem is up above. And this is our hole. And we can kind of think about breaking it up into parts. For example, we could show uh, the amount that Cassandra did. And since her amount was smaller here, we could show that as maybe our one sixth. Okay? So this here we'll say is one sixth. This is not drawn to scale, so that doesn't mean this is exactly one sixth. We're just estimating here. To show it, that should be a capital C, capital letter, Mr. War. Okay. <laughs> you got me, guys. You got me. What can I say? So if she did the one sixth here, then we need to show another amount. And that would be probably the larger, pretty good portion, which was the part that was unweeded, right? And that part was three quarters. And so this part I'm just going to put down here, unweeded. Now, this last part is the amount that Tatiana did, okay? So I'm just going to write her name over here. Now, what's I think kind of significant to see here is that we've kind of set it up similarly, except that we haven't done the area model. We've done the tape diagram showing that, well, this is the whole garden, and we have one sixth, which is Cassandra's right here, okay? We have three quarters, whoa. Woo, that was kind of cool. Three quarters was the part that was not completed. And then of course, lastly, we have the unweeded part, which we don't know, which is Tatiana. So let's go ahead and write the problem like this then. So one whole garden, right, complete, minus the amount that Cassandra did, and then minus what was left over should give us the amount that Tatiana did. Let's look at the, the equation this way. One minus one sixth, that lets you know that how many would be left over would be five sixths. Does that make sense? Five sixth plus one sixth would be our whole. So we just kind of subtracted that. Now we're going to subtract our three quarters. And of course, that's going to give us the amount that Tatiana did. Okay, we'll write her name here. So now we're just basically needing to find that denominator that they have in common. Now we have a six, we have a twelve and a, and a four. Now in the previous one, we actually shown that it was a it was 24. And when you multiply these two together, that will give you a common denominator. What can also give you a common denominator is by finding the multiples of that number. So if I were to just do 6, 12, and count by 6's, and then count by 4's, uh, 4, 8, 12, I could also use 12 because they're both, well, they're both, 12's are, are multiples of both 4 and 6. But let's go ahead and just keep it like we had it, 24, because that will work. And then we have 24 here. Now we're subtracting. And then of course, six times four is 24. So five times four would be 20. That's how I did that. Six times four is gonna get me here. So I'm gonna go ahead and multiply that top by that same amount. Might be kind of new for you guys, but this is the skill that typically is taught, but this program doesn't always have you do it this way. Four times six is 24. So you multiply that by six, we get 18. Now if we subtract, we get our two over 24. And right, we're right back where we were. 1 12th if you divide that by 2 and you divide that by 2. Seem pretty easy, doesn't it? It does. I actually kind of think so. Now that was the same problem, just done in two different ways. Let's move on to another problem here with Bukumi. Yay. Okay. Now it says Bukumi, she spent uh, one quarter of her money on a pack of pens one third of her money on a pack of markers, and one sixth of her money on a pack of pencils. Oh my goodness, okay. Let's go ahead and look at it this way. 
first thing is I'm going to just kind of get us in the habit moving straight forth, okay, by looking at and rereading the problem. So it says, Bukumi spent a quarter of her money on a pack of pens. We could show quarters, right, by bringing this over here. Now we have quarters. And we could show one quarter is basically going to be that amount. Okay, now we look at it. It says one third of her money was spent on markers. So we could take a third, and if we do this, you can see that we've created thirds, three equal pieces, as long as they're equal, that works, right? So that means I could put him here, or let's see, which one did I use? Probably this guy, yeah. And, oh, it was only a third. Mm, I was getting so excited, I wanted to put another one in there. Okay, so that's one third, and then one sixth of her money, bring this on down, and that's going to be on the, the markers. I could write that a little bit faster. So now you can see all these different units. What fraction of her money is left? So after she spent all this, we're not actually going to be, um, well, they don't want to know the total amount of money that she spent as much as this, how much is going to be left. So there is kind of a two-step problem here because at first it's like she's going to have a total amount. We're going to need to add the amount of money that she spent on these different items and then figure out how much was left. So let's go ahead and remember this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make 24s here because looking at this, I can see that six, four, and three will go into 24. And I know this because six times four is 24 and eight times three is 24. And so these are basically 24 is a multiple of all those numbers. What I'm gonna do here is since I have my, my six over here, I'm just gonna go ahead and put my six down here. So now I have my six, just like I have up above. I'm also going to put on my thirds. Now thirds are kind of neat because look, they're gonna end up sitting on top of these two, which doesn't play a huge role here because I already have my thirds listed. See that, see how they end up? So I'm not going to use that for that, but I'm also gonna get my quarters. What do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times four columns, my 24. So even to speed this up a little bit more. Now if you look, all right, so I bring this down here and now you can see the same quantity. Now we can write our fraction for each. See, we had six times four. So look at, there's six out of 24 for the pack of pens. Here we have two, four, six, eight. We have eight out of 24 for our pack of markers. And then here we have just four of 24 for our pack of pencils. And now what we can do is, we can go ahead and determine how much is that? Well, six plus eight plus four. Well, 12 plus six is 18. I'll put it out like this so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And then we have four over 24. And again, I said 12, I said 18 over 24. So 18 24s in order to figure out how much, what fraction she spent on pens, we'd have to take the total amount that she spent minus the 18 24s. Hmm. Looking at this, I can see that, well, there's 24 of 24 for one whole. I'm just subtracting the difference. So 24 over 24 would be my one whole minus my 18 24s. And I have, looks like to me, six 24s. And we can divide out a common factor because six times one is six, and then six times four is 24. Therefore, giving us a reduced fraction of one over four, which is one quarter. So one quarter of the money, uh, fraction of the money is left that she spent, okay? And that was one way that we could solve this problem using the area model, okay? I wanna try to, do, to go ahead and do it with a tape diagram now. What we do with a tape diagram is similar, just like what we did in the, the other problem. That whole strip here is going to represent all of her money, okay? All of Bukumi's money. Now we have that. Now we can go ahead and show this in the pieces. Like we have the quarter of her money, and since this is a half, the quarter is actually about right here. And I'm just estimating, and this shows you the amount that she spent on pens. And then of course, we have one third of her money in a pack of markers. And a third, well, looking at this, uh, I would just say it's like that, approximately. Not that it's exact, but it has to be more than a quarter. And then that's gonna be uh, markers. And of course, we have a small little amount here, looks like about a six. Remember that was her pencils. And then of course the remaining amount, remember, that's what's left, the money that she has left. So this is just showing you the tape diagram. Well, again, 
one whole amount of the money represents one, we just subtracting of them. We're subtracting our one third that she spent there, her one fourth that she spent on the pens, the one sixth that she spent on the pencils. Okay, so that should give us what's left. A couple of different ways you could do this. I'm looking at one minus one third. You might say, yeah, I know there's three thirds in one hole, therefore I would have two thirds left if I subtracted that. And then I'd have minus my one fourth minus my one sixth. Probably the easiest way here, maybe we can join forces. If we're subtracting all of this here from that two thirds, uh, here we have 20 fourths, and that would be six 20 fourths here. Maybe we want to go to, so here's two thirds. So let's go ahead and, and make that. That's two thirds and 20 fourths. Uh, if, if you didn't know that, let's look at it this way. If we wanted to make them into 20 fourths, this is how we could write this. Three times what gives you to 24? So then, if that's eight, then this is gonna be 16 20 fourths. And then I'm gonna subtract, because that was our whole, I'm gonna subtract this amount. Well, one fourth, we already determined, same thing. One fourth equals how many 20 fourths? Four times six is 24, so that's gonna be six 20 fourths. And then we're also going to be subtracting uh, over here, one sixth looks like. And one sixth here, if we put that equals 24, that's going to be six times four is 24, times four up here is four. And I know I'm doing this kind of fast here, but if you know your times table, it'll make a little bit more sense. Four, 24. Now you can see, well, six and four together equals 10 24. Okay, so now I'm going to show this as 16 24 minus 10 24 because that's what's added. Remember, we're taking away from this because this was our initial hole and I took off the one third off the right away and got left with two thirds. Okay, and then we're taking two thirds and subtracting the other two numbers here. And so that leaves me with the six 24 or again, the one quarter, which is what we were looking for. Okay, I uh, hope that made some sense. Um, this basically is like, again, a two part video, just trying to go through this a little bit quicker so the video wasn't quite as long. No fancy little things, you know what? Jumping out at you, but you know what I will do? I'll draw a little happy face. Yay. All right, guys, take care. Live long and prosper.